Hi, this is Brad Oster, and I want to talk to you today about some of the difficulties you can run into when trying to get a conditional use permit for your church, especially in a rather unconventional environment. Years ago, I was hired by a church in Morgan Hill, California, called Hillside Church, to help them relocate from their property into an industrial park. In doing that, we had to go before the planning department and get what's called a conditional use permit. Well, we ran into some problems. Uh, the reality is the town doesn't necessarily want a church in an industrial park any more than they want them in a, in a commercial shopping center because churches don't pay property taxes or sales tax. So most jurisdictions, cities, you know, would rather have a commercial business in there because then they get the income. So one strike against us already. What we found out, though, is that the city planning department did not want us in the industrial park and the excuse that they gave is that on one end of the industrial park, there was a company that raised laboratory rats. That was 300 feet away from us. So that's an entire football field in the other direction. Okay, now if you go the opposite way, another 300 feet, there's another commercial company that, that the byproduct of what they do is some type of toxic waste, right? They have to put them in 55 gallon drums with the skull and the crossbones on them. And I don't know if they bury them in the vat or what they do with it, but it's, it's toxic waste. So we got shot down by the planning department. Now, when the planning department uh, votes against your project, it's not necessarily the death of your project. I mean, most of the time it probably is, but you can appeal that to the city council. And so that's what we decided to do. We decided, all right, well, we're going to appeal the planning department's decision to the city council. But we're going to be smart in how we do this. Before the meeting at the city council, I went and looked at the size of the city council chambers and I counted the chairs. That chambers would seat 100 and, 120 to 150 people. I don't remember the exact number. I got 300 people from the church to show up the night of the hearing with the city council and fill every seat in there stand all around the outside of the, the perimeter of the seating, fill the lobby and the parking lot. We had people everywhere. Then, before it started, earlier that day, I went to Channel 5 News and Channel 7 News, and I got bumper stickers, which they hand out like candy. Now, back in that day, the camcorders that we had, you know, everybody's got one on their iPhone now, but back then, it was a big, over-the-shoulder type camera. It was a big, bulky thing. So we got two of those. And I sat one up on a tripod on the back left side of the city council chambers. And I set another one up on the back right side of the city council chambers. And I took my scissors and I cut up my bumper stickers so that all you could see was the TV logos. So it said Channel 5 News and Channel 7 News. And I aimed those right at the center where the city council people would be sitting. So when they came in, they were quite surprised. The city council kind of funnels in from backstage. You know, they come in around... First thing they saw was all the people. That, that was cause for concern. They, they went over and looked at the agenda to find out, wow, what is going on here? That, my gosh, I mean, we've got hundreds of people here. Channel 5 News is here. Channel 7 News, what's going on? So they looked at the agenda and found out that Hillside Church was appealing the decision by the planning department. So they asked how many people are here from Hillside Church. Everybody in the room raised their hands. And they agreed to move us to the first item on the agenda so that the people could go home. Well, the planning commission got to explain why they turned us down because of lab rats that are 300 feet that way and toxic waste that's 300 feet that way. But then as the applicant, we got to come up and, and speak to them. The pastor's name was Mike Anderson. Mike came up and, and just gave a, a great talk. He said how much he loved Morgan Hill. And that he and his family, when they moved to California, they could have moved anywhere. They could have gone to San Francisco or Orange County. But the look and the feel of Morgan Hill was, was just the, the perfect environment to raise their kids and raise their family. It felt like, like church and God and baseball and apple pie. And it was just a wonderful place to be. And then he expressed how unbelievably hurt he was to find out that that image and view he had of Morgan Hill had been shattered and that Morgan Hill would rather have lab rats and toxic waste than God, apple pie, America, and mom. And I don't know if a tear came down his eyes, but I think I was bawling. Well, that did it. The mayor interrupted him, stood up, pounded his fist on the desk. 
I'm for God and America and apple pie and mom, and I say you get your permit. And they took a vote right there, seven to nothing in favor of the church. So sometimes you just have to be a little creative in how you approach the city council and the planning department. But I'll tell you what, if God's in it, God always wins. Remember what our friend Solomon told us, seek wisdom, look for knowledge, it'll serve you well. If we can help you with that, my name's Brad Oster. My phone number is 719-439-3019. I look forward to your call.